back to my channel today. We will be reading from the book of Timothy S. Madison, chapter 1, verses 1. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it says. And the Lord, honey, <laughs> and the Lord, she said, she will prepare a lipstick, honey. A matte glorious, matte crown lipstick, honey. In the presence, in the presence, honey. Ah, uh, in the presence. Mm, in the presence of your enemies. <laughs> So if you don't know it yet, I am going to be giving you five tips on how to deal with your hair ass. Five tips on how to deal with your enemies T.S. Madison style. Now if you're interested in the following vlog, all you have to do is sit down honey, get a pen and a paper, get some tea honey, click the subscribe button so you're part of the notification gang and watch it. Today like I said, we will be discussing one of my favorite favorite online personalities the chief executive founder extraordinaire of the queen's supreme court t s madison girl is you that <laughs> is you that child is this thing recording <laughs> But anyways, um, if you don't follow T.S. Madison, I think you really should. She's extremely hilarious. She's a trans woman. She's very um, controversial. At least her background story, right? It's very controversial. She came from a place of so much hardship. She's grown her brand and now she's in such a very positive um, trajectory and she creates this really, really funny, ratchet shows really putting it nicely but just ratchet television okay and she just has a really really good addictive formula you have to watch it that's what I'm gonna say but yes so here are five tips I learned from T.S. Madison on how to deal with your haters because let's be honest there's no one who knows more about hateration who has suffered death threats all kinds of haters real enemies honey and I'm not talking about all of you guys sitting down there who just have bad behavior just in the odd job horrible bad behavior and you'll be looking around and say I got here I got you don't have any haters you have a bad personality and a bad behavior nobody wants to be around you I said it. Nobody wants to be around a, somebody who brings negativity all the time. Has nothing good to say about people. You don't have haters. You have people who want better for themselves. People who brain who will leave you and shoo you out of their lives. They're not haters. They're not looking for your downfall. They're looking for you to stay clear because you got negative energy. But back to the TS. There is no one who really understands what it means to have hate pure hate spewed at you go kill yourself you are horrible you are nothing you are a mistake to this earth you're an abomination literally then she hears it like every single day okay you're ugly you're this you're that she's a beautiful beautiful transgender woman and i definitely think you can learn a thing or two from her okay tip number one as a girl honey as fish honey as a woman <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this when you're feeling the hate on you it's those begin those beginning stages when you realize mm, you're a hater you don't like me you don't want me to succeed you don't even want me to just be when you see that everyone is appreciating me something comes over you it is a wicked kind of jealousy yeah it's not the jealousy that is natural that you know mm, I really wish I could do what this my friend is doing. I really wish I could do well like my brother and my cousin and this one. No, it's the wicked jealousy like I will kill you. I just want to kill this wicked, this girl who is just so fine, you know. Why don't you just, uh, just throw acid on your face so you can be ugly. Eh? So me and you can be ugly together. Eh -heh. That kind of wicked jealousy, that kind of jealousy from the devil, honey. Yes. That is when you find someone with that kind of wicked jealousy, you know that oh, you got a head, honey. You got a head on your hands. Okay, do not ignore the signs. When you see all this negativity from someone, 
close to you and it's constant negativity towards you, you just might have a hater. So how do you deal with it in the beginning stages? You take what the Lord, honey, what the Lord has prepared for you in the presence of your enemies. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. And you put it on, yes. <laughs> You wear your bold shade of lipstick instead of feeling down, feeling like, oh my God, why does, does my friend not like me? Why do you know do these people around here think I'm crap and I'm not this and I'm that? Why do they don't want to put me down at work? Why do they don't want to see me fired and go? Like, why am I such a threat? Like, what's going on? Why am I a threat? Why are they jealous of me? Like, literally, why? You know, they they're beautiful too. They're intelligent. I love them. Why don't they like me? Instead of worrying so much once you have really realized that you have haters in your life, just wear your lipstick just to feel good about yourself. Because the first thing that comes when you realize that you have haters is a it's just a lot of sadness that fills your heart. And you wonder why people don't like you. And it becomes a problem internally for you to digest. So you the first emotion you feel is sadness feel sadness so to overcome that sadness and that shocking early realization do something that makes you feel good push your confidence up so when you realize you have haters at work instead of bowing your head down like a good mm -hmm. mama they raise the fool wake up lift your chin up honey adjust your dress like a niger babe adjust it like a mama the mama wear your earring like a mama the mama and put on your bloody lipstick and strut your way through the office strut your way to wherever you work sit down there in the presence of your enemies be bold be outstanding be beautiful and be excellent did you hear the last part be ye excellent it's very important. It will give you the confidence to walk through the day. Think and say good things to yourself. Say wonderful affirmations like, I'm going to accomplish this, 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 and that today. I look great. I feel great. I smell great. I am wonderful. More importantly, I love myself. Here is how I contribute. You know what? Sometimes maybe it's not about me. Maybe it's what they're going through. Which brings me to point number two, T.S. Madison style. If you have been watching the Queen's Court, honey, you know that the original Queen's Court as we knew it was with Kaya and the T.S. Madison. So Kaya and T.S. Madison got together, they made a dynamic duo, it was called the Queen's Court and Kaya caused the scene, self-sabotaged. And literally broke down the whole show and so T.S. Madison had to start her own separately called the Queen Supreme Court which I love so how did she deal with all the horrible negativity from someone she called her sister what she did is literally say nothing negative about her the whole time Kaya bashed her and said all these horrible things about her and you know People from everywhere who supported Kai for some weird ass reason. I don't know why I support that, but anyways, you know, came on and literally bashing her and saying, You're nothing, you're this. How did she deal with it? She was very positive. She said, You know what? It didn't work out. I love my sister. She said that. I love my sister. I support her. I want you guys to support her in whatever endeavors, you know, she's going to undertake. It simply did not work out. Kill them with kindness. Speak ye no evil about your damn haters, honey. No, not in the beginning stages anyways. When you know that you know they're silent haters or whatever, literally kill them with kindness. So if you work with said hater, come in maybe with, you know, if you know that they like chocolate, come in with maybe their favorite chocolate, give it to everyone else in the office, sit down until you see her staring at you, looking at your direction, wandering around and say, hey, Jennifer Witch from Underground. Don't say that. Hey Jennifer! Five big Jennifer. Jen Jen. Jenny the Jenny. Baby. Come on, collect your chakras. <laughs> kill them with kindness, okay? Um, just do your best to kill them with kindness and do kind gestures. Because a lot of the times 
when someone does not like you for no real reason what we would call a hater um it's really an internal psychological thing within them that has nothing and absolutely nothing to do with you you might happen to trigger those negative behaviors in them but it has zero zilch and nada to do with you okay so once you understand that something that is bright golden and wonderful about you is triggering something within that person you can just just be kind be softer towards them it might help them realize you know how to change their state of mind and understand that hey love can take you where you need to go you don't have to be angry you don't have to hate the person for whatever reason number three is center yourself Center yourself in whatever way you know how to. This is the point where you're you're getting you're moving from the silent, I don't understand, sad stage to the okay, you know, let me fix this with a great attitude, and you have now gone into where they keep hammering and nothing is working, and you have reached the point of damn near breaking into anger. Ha! You're like, ah, ah, I brought her chocolate, she insulted me for the whole office that I want to poison her. You know, she's always, like she's more and more angry the more I deal with it in a positive manner, the angrier she gets. At this point, when you feel attacked and you feel like you really cannot stand it and you're about to explode into anger, honey, you do not want to catch a case, honey. You want to catch chat, honey. Not a case. You don't want to go to court because you beat up some girl who was hating on you. God forbid, then she would have won. You don't have to go to jail because of Jennifer the Witch from the underground. No, show her that you are S and Y in the spirit. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, center yourself. For some of you, it's church, it's religion. For others, it's spirituality. Just being one with your chi, with your, you just finding your Zen place, communicating with your spirit God, with your spirit guide, elevating internally. Yeah. For some of you, that is what it is. Get there wherever you need to go. Is it yoga you need to do? You name it. For TS medicine, it's some music, and it's some gospel music. Or some ratchet music. My enemies, my enemies. In front of my enemies, my enemies. <laughs> so, whatever takes you to that wonderful place. Music wise, for me, it's Bravo. Okay, I absolutely love him. His new album is just like really calms me really makes me like and a bad day becomes a wonderful day so yeah just find what centers you it's so important because what happens is when when you find your center is you respect your damn self so when this person comes at you with some mess you remember your mantras you've been saying in your head Jennifer is not a witch Jennifer is not a witch she has problems she has issues God will do it the universe will do it life will take care of her karma will handle this girl spirit of goodness flow within me spirit of minding myself and watching what these hands do come over me <laughs> bring that spirit in you remember your mantra and it calms you or restrains you okay the fourth tip I learned from T.S. Madness is when all things fail, get litigious, honey. Get litigious. So, what this means is go the legal route. When it becomes so destructive, when the hate turns into something that is so destructive that it can ruin your career, ruin your life, ruin who you are as a human being, go litigious. When it gets to the point where um, the person is spreading rumors, for example, threatening you, threatening your family, doing things that basically put you in harm's way, in danger, or ruins your name, lowers your coinage, honey. Because you, you know, you need a job, you need to make money. So when it becomes destructive to your person it's important to just go the legal route because if there's one thing we diasporans know that Oyibo people understand very well is the law that is the only thing that they can be afraid of small small everything else they don't care they'll do whatever when you bring the law inside ah they correct themselves they just 
correct their lives, they correct their behavior. So get your teachers. If someone is threatening you or someone is spreading rumors about you that are false, all you have to do is literally go to court and find a way to, you know, um, serve a cease and desist so they can stop spreading these rumors about you. Do whatever you have to do to make sure that they stop, okay? Find free legal counsel if you don't want to spend any money. There are ways that you can do this, that you can get litigious without spending much money, okay? Or without spending any money at all. You have to cover yourself. And most of the time when you're on the right, you know that the law will be behind you when you are right and you're correct and you always have your evidence. So always keep evidence of threats, little attacks and all that. Just keep just be gathering the evidence and keeping any type of evidence you can keep. Text message, you screenshot, you say it. I don't really like those things, but in a case like this, we have a hater that's being super dangerous and trying to literally ruin your life when the hate has possessed them with giving them mental illness. Make sure you do that, okay? Tip number five, last but not the least, if not probably the most important, is when all else fails. Going litigious will never fail you, by the way. But when the other three before fail, there's one really important thing to do, honey. Drag them to filth with your success. It's your success that will literally, probably even, remove you from that space. Let's just say maybe you're a cashier somewhere or you work in like, I don't know, Fortune 500 firm even and you have this colleague that keeps tormenting you. The best way is to elevate, to do so well that you are far removed from them, that you are here. In fact, you become an idea. Do well. That honestly is one of the best ways to deal with your haters or your enemies is to do so well that you literally become an enigma, an idea. Focus on yourself and be very, very successful at whatever you want, whatever success means to you, all right? Focus on that. When you are successful, when you do well, honey, it's the best revenge. First of all, your mind will not even be on the hater. The hater is there like they're not even there. You wash your hand mentally, physically, everything. They're not there. You're too busy. The grind is too much. You are doing you. You've already reached the point of acceptance. Like, yes, I didn't do anything wrong. I've evaluated myself. I've evaluated myself. I've been introspective. I have spoken to them. I have asked them. I have talked to them. Sis. Sis. Jennifer Boo Boo, what I do to you, honey? Honey Boo Boo, what I do to you? What did I do to you, honey? And she said nothing. And she never really gave any constructive criticism as to why, you know, she has to be this way towards you, or what's going on in her mind, or that she even did anything wrong. When you've gone to that place that you've accepted that this person is just like going to be negative towards you for no reason and then they become vindictive and wicked and mean and all that, you've accepted it. So now you, it's easier to move on and to just be like, mm, forget this one. They are there like they are not the invisible. Just be successful, okay? So those are the five tips from T.S. Madison that I have learned, okay? The five tips that would help you deal with your hair ass and your enemies, your enemies. <laughs> Until next week, I have been your host, La Chichi Mambo for Pop Salt and Blah 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 Culture. Are you guys liking my new look? Okay, but I've got to be honest, I love my wig so much, so the wigs might make a comeback. I don't know when, but maybe next week, maybe the week after. Je sais pas, je sais pas, je sais pas. But when it does, then it will. <laughs>